Hey, George here. Random Wikipedia, J. Farrar, J. Farrar. J. Farrar, born December 26, 1966, is an American songwriter and musician currently based in St. Louis, a member of two critically acclaimed music groups, Uncle Tupelo and Sunvolt. He began his solo music career in, beyond his established talents as a songwriter, he is a guitarist, pianist, harmonicist, and a vocalist. Uncle Tupelo Farrar formed Uncle Tupelo with Jeff Tweedy and Mike Hyden in 1987 after the lead singer of their previous band, The Primatives, left to attend college. The trio recorded three albums for Rockville Records, before signing with Sire Records and expanding to a five-piece. Shortly after the release of the band's major label debut album Anodyne, Farrar announced his decision to leave the band owing to a soured relationship with his company songwriter Tweedy. Sunvolt. After the dissolution of Uncle Tupelo in 1994, Farrar formed the rock group Sunvolt, whose original lineup released three albums in the late 1990s, before undergoing a hiatus in 1999. In 1999, Farrar was invited to participate in the tribute album for Moby Great Company founder Skip Spence, who was terminally ill with cancer. The album, Moro, a tribute to the Skip Spence album, Bergman, 1999, was an album of cover versions of the songs on Spence's only solo album, or Columbia. In the band reformed with a different lineup and has since released seven additional albums. Other. In 1995, Farrar collaborated with Kelly Willis on the song Rex Blues, which appeared on the Abe's Benefit album Red Hot Plus Bothered, produced by the Red Hot organization. As a solo artist, Farrar has released two full-length albums, two Ets, one film score, and various live recordings. His full-length albums are Sebastopol, 2001, and Terwa Blues. The first released on the independent record label Art Miss Records and the second released on his own label, Transmit Sound, an ep of songs from the Sebastopol sessions, entitled Third Shift Grotto Slap was released in. His score for the independent film The Slaughter Rule, 2002, Directors Alex and Andrew Smith was released in on the independent record label Bloodshot Records. Farrar formed his own independent record label in 2003, Transmit Sound, formerly called At Forward Slash Resist Records. In, Farrar released a six song live acoustic ep entitled Live Ep. Also, 2004 marked the release of the live CD Forward Slash DVD Stone, Steel and Bright Lights. Farrar worked closely with keyboardist Stephen Droz of the Flaming Lips during the recording of Sebastopol. Eric Haywood, Mark Spencer from the Blood Oranges, and the rock group Canyon have often accompanied Farrar in his solo recordings and performances. Spencer is now a full-time member of Sunvolt. In 2006, Farrar announced the formation of a new band, Gub Iron, with Varnalines Anders Parker. The songs which would make up their debut album were recorded in autumn 2004, while Farrar was in the process of recording a new Sunvolt album. In April, 2019, Parker and Farrar released a 7-inch single using the God Iron moniker. Farrar collaborated with Ben Gibbard, of the indie rock band Death Cab for Cutie, to create all of the music for the soundtrack for the documentary film One Fast Move or Ingorn, about Jack K. Wax's time spent at Big Sur. The soundtrack was released on October 20, 2009. In 2012, Farrar, Along with Will Johnson, Yim Yames, and Anders Parker collaborated on the Woody Guthrie Archive project, New Multitudes. Style His musical style ranges from sparse, unaccompanied folk music to full rock and roll band arrangements comparable to Neil Young or Dinosaur Ridge. His solo recordings also often include sound experiments, reminiscent of psychedelia, with a distinct eastern bent. One of the hallmarks of his sound is the use of alternate tunings on the guitar. His love for Woody Guthrie inspired a custom guitar made by Creston Lee of Vermont. The guitar was made from artifacts Jay gathered from the site of Guthrie's childhood home.